Hello everyone, my name is Brianna Fox. I am an early childhood special education major at Towson University and I will be teaching you a lesson about inclusion and in reading a book to you. So this activity is called Showing Our Love. This activity is for my two-year-old friends and will be a literacy and social studies lesson on representation and inclusion. So we will be using the areas of music, movement, and dance in this lesson. Uh, the purpose is to show you all that everyone in the world should be included and accepted no matter what they look like. So you may want to look around your room you're in right now. You may see pictures of family, of friends. These people may look like you or they may not look like you. And that is okay. Even though we may look different, we can still all be included in this world and be loved. The book that I will be reading is called Love Monster by Rachel Bright. I will, be, I will read you the synopsis of this book before we begin. So everybody loves cute, fluffy things. You know, like little kittens and bunnies and puppies, but nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly-eyed monster, do they? Come along with Monster as he shows, as he looks for love, high, low, and even middle-ish. This heart-tingling, let's cuddle up story together is about how sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you. Love Monster by Rachel Bright. This is a monster. Hello, monster. I think you'll agree he's a bit funny looking to say the least. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things, which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. You might have noticed that everybody loves kittens and puppies and bunnies, you know, cute fluffy things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly eyed monster. Poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps, but not being the moping around sort, he decided to set out and look for someone who'd love him just the way he was. He looked high, he looked low, it's a tumbleweed. He looked middle-ish, he looked inside and outside. More than once he thought that maybe, just maybe, he'd found what he was looking for. But as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well, and then it didn't go well some more. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact, that it, became, that it began to get dark and scary, and well, not very nice. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up and go home. But in the blink of a googly eye, everything changed. You see, sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you. The end. Now for our activity, the only thing you guys need is your body. This activity will be a finger play. These are songs that include movement and geared towards young children. The first one that I will be showing everyone is called Skinamarink. Um, it goes with some music and I will demonstrate it now. So this first song is called Skinamarink, and I will begin by singing it to you, and then I will teach you the dance moves. So let's begin. Skinamarinky dinky dink, skinamarinky do, I love you. Skinamarinky dinky dink, skinamarinky do, I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skinamarinky dinky dink, skinamarinky do. I love you.
right, so now I will be showing you the dance moves that go along with the song, so follow me. Skidamarinky-dinky-dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. So that was Skin My Rink. The next um, song that I have is called There's a Big Red Heart. It's in the tune of It's a Small World. Um, so I will sing it to you first and then I'll do the moves. So there's a big red heart down inside of me. There's a big red heart no one else can see. It is filled to the brim with love from within. And now I give it to you. All right, so this one is a fun one that you can do with your friends, so let's begin. There's a big red heart down inside of me. There's a big red heart that no one else can see. It is filled to the brim with love from within, and now I give it to you. So those were my songs that I taught all of you friends. Um, if you don't know the tunes to these songs, you can always sing them in your own tune and just follow these words. And if you don't remember or can't do these movements, then just saying the words work as well. So now that you have seen and learned all of these fun songs, you can sing them with your loved ones at home or at school. So why don't you give it a try after this video? Have fun singing and dancing, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.